Hello there, my name is Darren McGarvey and I am a writer, a performer and an anti-poverty campaigner and I am delighted to join you from Pollock, the south side housing scheme in Glasgow that I grew up in where uh, I'm going to find out a little bit more information about an organisation that's been operating here for a long time that I haven't actually engaged with and that is the Local Citizens Advice Bureau. So what is a Citizens Advice Bureau? Well, there are 59 individual bureaus within Scotland and each one serves a very local community that's experiencing issues that are specific to that. However, while each Citizens Advice Bureau is a charity independent in its own right, obviously they are connected up as part of a network and it is through that network that we begin to get a bigger picture of how society's problems change and how this affects people uh, in communities. Some things that I found really interesting about the Citizens Advice Bureau that I didn't realise was that it has actually been operating pre-welfare state. So this is the 80th year that the Citizens Advice Bureau has actually been operating and that means that uh, there isn't an institution in public life which is perhaps better placed or more experienced in terms of dealing with the evolving needs and concerns of citizens from 1939 when their concerns were things like evacuations and food rationing and oh my god somebody's just bombed my house to the mass house building program and all of the problems that people faced around housing and accessing new benefits. So the Citizens Advice Bureau is basically there to deal with whatever an individual might be coming in the door with in terms of a problem and it's their job to ascertain what is the priority here, how can we support the person to address the wider issues holistically. Ultimately it is an invaluable service and that's why I've come to Paul today to speak to some people who work in there and also people who use the service. Good morning Magda. Yeah, you're the boss around here. <laughs> well, I'm the manager, so... <laughs> we'll go and have a wee look then. Yes, yes. The whole point of the Citizens Advice Bureau is, is to provide advice services for people in the, in the area. So it's got, to be, um, it's got to be accessible. It's got to be accessible um, both in terms of disability access, but also in terms of where it's situated. So we are situated right next to the, the bus terminal, um, and most of our clients don't drive. They come by public transport, so that's very, very important. The Citizens Advice Network in Scotland has a footprint in every community and offers free, impartial and confidential advice on matters ranging from debt and benefits to consumer issues and employment rights. I was advised to go on ESA about four years ago and I was already had, had sciatica and other problems that way, but mostly depression because my son had just died and it was my doctor who advised me to come here. And I had two refusals first to, for it, but um, someone from the Bureau came with me to the appeal and I actually won it. What would you say is the main difference between your experience of coming through the door here and other organisations or services that you've tried to access? Would you say there's a difference in the way you're treated here? Yes. What, what they is were that? Just more, I just felt more relaxed and at ease. It wasn't just like a computer asking, you know, they were letting me talk, and it was very hard for me to talk. But I found it easier to talk here, like, you know. The Citizens Advice Network is powered by volunteers. Over 2,370 volunteers contributed more than 760,000 hours of time advising and assisting those in need. Well, I started volunteering here uh, 12 and a half years ago, after I retired, and it involves, I do two shifts, a Monday morning and a Tuesday afternoon. One of them is filling in forums, um, PIP forums and DLA forums. And the other one is just general, everyday type of stuff. I just like folk and I like talking to them and you hear everybody's stories and that, that's really great. And you learn something every day. There's always something different. 
Nowadays, people can go to their local bureau asking for help on any issue, and in the year 2018-19, the network advised over 272,500 clients, issuing over 730,000 pieces of advice and putting 131 million back into people's pockets by helping them get the money that they are entitled to, like benefits and reductions. Um, so I know that you started off as a volunteer. Yeah, I started when I was 17. You started uh, when you were 17. Yeah. And how did that come about and what sort of impact did uh, volunteering have? Basically, I was a typical teenager. I was at school, I was convinced they couldn't tell me what to do. I was 16. I wasn't an adult, I'll do what I want and what they tell me to do. Um, obviously it didn't work that way, so I left school. Um, after I left, my mum kept hounding me to go to the job centre, go and sign on, go to college, go and do something. Uh, so I volunteered here. Um, I just actually did it to get my mum off my back. I didn't have any plan or anything like that. I thought this will get her off my back. Uh, it turned out I quite liked it. Uh, I started off as an admin position um, and I done five days a week, half nine to half four. Um, really enjoyed it. If you enjoy it, you put more effort in. Um, obviously must have made an impression on somebody because uh, a year later I got offered a job when funding came up for it. I quite enjoy the mild excruciation of finding out that you don't know as much about something as you thought you did and uh, that's certainly the case for me today you know, just coming out of the Citizens Advice Bureau here in Pollock. The big big thing that I'm taking away from my visit today is that as well as a very professional and competent service that is going to be able to support and help you across a broad range of difficulties, what you can be absolutely assured of when you set foot in the door is that you're going to be treated like a human being, you're going to be seen as an equal, you're going to be treated with compassion and you're going to be treated with respect. So this isn't like walking into a police station or a benefits office. The people that work in here are on the side of the citizen at all times. So if you find yourself struggling with anything, whatever it might be, and you need a bit of advice, and you're a citizen, uh, look it up. The Citizens Advice Bureau is probably the first place that you should go.